what's, what's your favorite thing to do when you're here? Look for animals. Mm -hmm. And what kind of animals do you see? We see fish, a lot of fish, sometimes bugs, and bees. And bees too? And beetles under the rocks. Cool. So do you pick the rocks up and see what's underneath them? Mm -hmm. But then we put them back. Right. Because you only want to look just to see what's there. You don't want to disturb them, right? Hey. Hello, I'm Alex Mulcahy, the publisher of Grid Magazine. And today I am here with my friend Julie Slavitt with TTF, and she's going to tell us what that stands for, because I'll butcher it otherwise. Exactly. I am happy to do that. It stands for the Tuckany Tacony frankford Watershed Partnership. So our watershed is a 30-square-mile watershed. It's one of Philadelphia's watersheds. And the headwaters are in Montgomery County, um, and the, the creek flows into Philadelphia um, as the Tuckany becomes the Tacony in Philadelphia, when it hits Philadelphia and then becomes the Frankfurt Creek. So our focus is on that 30 square mile area and it's all about improving water quality and connecting people to their creeks. And how do you do that? We do that through education. Um, we do that through stewardship, which mean, which is a really big word that means help, you know, working with people to take care of the creek and take care of green spaces and nature. Tell me about the Stream Keepers program. So we love our Stream Keepers program. Um, and it started because we got funded by the William Penn Foundation and they were really interested in making sure that there were people out there, citizens, doing water quality monitoring. They really felt that it would really um, connect people to the creeks and it would be a great way to collect data. Now you are in charge of the Stream Keepers program. Tell our viewers today what it's all about. Basically, it's a group of concerned citizens that go out to the creeks local to them and they do some physical assessments, they get a temperature check, and then they also help us through like advocacy and helping out at our events. So they're really involved and active and constantly learning stuff about watershed issues. So these stream keepers, they're more or less adopting these, these, uh, these streams, is that right? Some of the stream keepers view it as their sort of own little section of creek. So each month they come out once a month and they'll spend a couple hours at the creek and do all of their assessments. Some of them will clean up trash too, and people just really enjoy having that section of creek that's theirs, basically. So what, why is it important for these assessments to happen? We have a small staff, and we have some sites that we monitor quarterly, but we certainly can't get out to all of the smaller sections of creek. It's great having all of these people who are out monitoring the creeks on a monthly basis, and they can tell us what's happening, and then as they sort of adopt the site, they can notice very slight changes that we might not notice as well. There's not a lot of baseline data on these little creeks. Um, there really isn't. So the more that we can see, especially now with climate change, the more we can see how they're changing, you know, how a, how a really big um, rain really impacts what the creek looks like in terms of erosion, that's very helpful. You know, now that we're in a, the time of the pandemic and we're figuring out what we're going to do this fall and winter with our kids, we know that the outdoor is a classroom. You know, the outdoors provides a classroom. So we are looking to pr make sure that we provide resources, online resources and suggestions to teachers and parents about what they can do to get to keep their kids learning outside. Is this the kind of thing that maybe a family would want to adopt a creek and let kids play in it while doing the measurements. Yeah, so it's, it's certainly a great opportunity for a family with little kids if they want to go out and help them. It's also a great way to learn with school sort of the way it is now. It's a great opportunity to sort of get out and learn some different science concepts. There's a lot of enrichment activities that they can do down at the creek and lots of great things they can learn while being outside too. We encourage our stream keepers if they feel comfortable going in the creek to go in the creek and flip some rocks over and look in the creek and whatnot. Some of our stream keepers are all about it, jumping into the creek, and some of them prefer to monitor from the banks, and that's okay too. Uh, how long have you been a uh, stream keeper? We've been doing stream keeping for almost two years now. How do you like doing it? It's great. Um, you know, we bring the kids out every time, right? It's a way to make sure we're out in nature and also just be you know, more observant about what's going on, right? Looking at the state. Um, it's a good uh, kid activity. <laughs> they, uh, 
you know, thinking about the data, taking temperature, right? Thinking about a little bit about the science uh, behind it and getting them involved in their community and what's around them. Your daughters are eight and six. Yep. And have you seen, they've been doing this since they were four and six, have <laughs> you seen changes uh, or have you seen their appreciation deepen by doing this? Yeah, I mean, I think whenever we're, you know, traveling or wherever we're out, they're just more aware. They're asking questions about, you know, what's going on here, you know, noticing how it's changed. They're more aware of, you know, trash in the environment. So we're seeing that general awareness, you know, start to take hold. What do you usually do when you come down here? I mostly pick up trash, look for animals in the water, and then we write it down. Cool. And what kind of animals do you see here? A lot of bears? No, we usually see fish and insects. Who do you come down here with? My sister and my dad. Mm -hmm. Do you know what they do when they come down? Does your sister, your sister's younger? Mm -hmm. She helps me pick up trash and my dad does most of the writing down part. Uh, what grade are you in? Fourth grade. Tell me, some, tell me some things that you do when you're here. We like um, going into the water. We like picking up trash, and there's trash. Sometimes do it in the water. We sometimes and we um, put the thermometer into the water. Why do you do that? To see if it's hot or cold. And what do you think it should be? Cold. Cold. That's right. Um, how do you like doing this? I like it. A lot. Do you? What do you like about it? I don't really know. I think I like everything about mm -hmm. it. Do you ever go into the water? Yes, sometimes we do, to pick up trash in the water and look at fish. How does it make you feel when you're picking up the trash? Happy, and I feel a lot better because I'm helping the earth. Would you recommend this to other kids, other families? Yeah, it's really fun. What do you think has been like the biggest surprising thing that happened here? I didn't know that I could cross the river all by myself. Mm -hmm. And it turned out really to be really much fun. Why should kids ask their parents to become stream keepers? Because hmm. I like doing the environment and helping the earth. Yes, that's great. Do you think that uh, participating in this program has changed your relationship to environmentalism or where you live? For us, it's more passing that on to our kids and making them aware about what's going on in their environment, in their community, and trying to set those trends and those principles so as they get older, they're always aware wherever community they end up, you know, they want to be active in taking care of it. Would you recommend this program to other people or other families? Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it to, you know, younger families, right, when you're you know, Saturdays, that's right, like, you know, it's kind of countdown to bedtime sometimes, right? So it's a good way to facilitate activity, get outside, be with the family, um, and uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. This program really has filled um, some sort of unmet needs that people were feeling, which is really nice. Um, you know, I think that we work with people who care about nature um, and want to be active and want to make a difference, like to get outside, um, you know, may have had a science background um, or not, but um, really, you know, care about their community. You know, it makes people feel like they're making a difference. I'd like to thank Julie Slavitt, the executive director of the Tukany Tacony Frankfurt Watershed Partnership. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming out today. It was a real pleasure. And thank you all for watching. This stream is not yet adopted, is that true? Yep, so this stream section here is a pretty good section. Um, very peaceful and relaxing here, but also it's up towards the headwaters, 
of the Tokeny Creek, so it's a pretty important section of creek to monitor too. If people want to become a stream keeper, what should they do? So if they want to become a stream keeper, they can reach out to us, but we also, during these times, have been putting out a lot of great videos. So we do actually have a video on YouTube that walks you through the entire sort of stream keeper program and the process of it. We'll find it for you. Yeah. We'll get the link in there. Yeah.